good afternoon and a warm welcome to the official opening ceremony of the Monsoon Cup 2009. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Monsoon Cup of 2009 is officially open. The trophy goes up for grabs. The champions will be decided on Sunday, right here on Pull Out Do Young. Important part of the process here, doing the weigh uh, really important part of making sure that all the weights are equal. Monsoon season, you get lots of rain. As long as we don't get zero visibility, we can still go on with racing. It's been quite a bit of monsoon the last two days, and as you can see out there now, the, the current and down the left hand side of the racetrack is really strong, and so we expect there to be a lot more current. But um, at least the rain's brought some good breeze, so there should be some good sailing still. The last uh, four days are raining and four nights, but it's only water and it's warm, so it's not so bad. Last year it rained the same, like pretty much like for three days, but we get many people here. Well, with the breeze, I think it's going to make it a lot more exciting. The rain will put a bit of a dampener, but the breeze is going to make it exciting racing there, so I think everyone will be down here to uh, see some action. Fourth match in Flight 2, featuring defending champion of Monsoon Cup, Peter Gilmore. Up against Francesco Bruni from Italy. Bru Bruni's going to be in trouble here. Come on, come on, come on. 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 I, I kind of think Bruni might have been a bit unlucky there, actually, on that penalty. But he is... Whoa, whoa, another incident right here, right next to us. Another another flag. What's it going to be? Oh, it looks like it's yellow again. That's two. Bruni, got to do it. He'll have to take a penalty immediately. A penalty immediately, and Gilmore isn't giving him any love right there. He's telling him exactly what he thinks about that little performance. Gilmore now has a lead of about... Uh, seven or eight bow lengths, so very comfortable. And he is first to the right-hand side. And Bruni still has a penalty against him. So sailing the Richard Milo boat around the top mark, it uh, has really been a case now, follow the leader for uh, Francisco Bruni and his Azura crew. So they'll take that knock on the nose that Peter Gilmore's delivered and regroup and think about flight three coming up. But they're on the downhill slide to the finish. Good news, Andy, it stopped raining. Yeah, no rain at all. And you, I wouldn't have believed it yesterday. It was uh, the heavens opened and they opened all day long and it was rain like I've never seen before. And we can see that uh, Francisco Bruno is definitely Making a very, he's making his points. Gilmore crosses the line ahead of Bruni, very handy lead. Bruni was debriefing, was he debriefing Italian style? He, he, yeah. he was, absolutely, and it was full, forceful and frankful. Yeah, I, I think it was, uh, we are almost, uh, we're a bit a little bit late for the, the start there and Cameron booted me into action and said that we're racing and at that point we just jumped them a little bit, got our bow down and on the second tack, uh, you know, they clearly are a fouling yacht, so that was pretty much the race.